everyone, it's Sue. Welcome back to Tag A Day again. So today is day five and today I need to create a pocket tag. So I am really embracing using some of my inks and mixed media supplies at the moment. So these tags are about eight and a half high and three and a half wide. And they're just in... Um, some heavyweight 250 GSM cardstock and then this is some cheap um, watercolor paper and I've just cut it just so that they're smaller and they will constitute the pocket. Now the reason I'm doing that in watercolor paper is because I'm going to add um, the inks. I've got blueprint sketch, faded jeans, rusty hinge and walnut ink I think I've got there. So I'm just going to cut down the top of the tags. I like to do this first so that I can actually visualise what the tags will look like once they're done. And I've pulled out a few embossing folders. Now I'm going to be embossing the watercolour cardstock. The back um, tags, they're, just, they're going to be inked the top part of them using these Distress inks. But... Um, the watercolour paper I'm going to emboss. Now I'm not sure how it will emboss because as I said it is only a fairly cheap watercolour paper from Kmart um, but we'll see what happens. The paper embossed quite nicely actually. It's um, made it a little bit more flimsy. I quite like that one that I'm looking at there now. The other two are a Tim Holtz um, like a 3D a real deep embossing folder. Um, this other one was just a plain one and it much, was much smaller so I'm just going to cut the bottom of that off and then I do actually shorten one of the tags as well just so that it's not um, too obvious. I'm just working out how how much to cut off there and I just do that just approximately anyway. So I've just put my uh, glass mat over and now I'm going to start adding some of the ink to the embossed uh, watercolour paper and I've just sped this up because you've seen me do this before. Uh, I really love this colour, it's gorgeous. Um, so I'm just doing the lighter blue first, the faded jeans and then I'll bring in um, the faded blueprint. I just, uh, I didn't want all the blue on the raised parts so I brought my brush in and kept spritzing water um, and the paper actually did start getting really, really weak. So I had to dry in between. Um, but I'm just doing the, the light blue on all of them there. And then I'll start using the darker blue. So I just um, will speed this up and add a little bit of music here. So that you can just um, see them as they come together. I hope you enjoy it.
These went through a stage of looking quite ugly and I wasn't overly happy with them, but I quite like them, the look of them now. I'm just using a gilding polish and I'm going to just lightly rub with the tip of my finger over the raised part. And you can see it's just going to bring out that embossing a little bit more. I love this stuff. Obviously, I'm going to need a lot more than what I've put down. So I'm just going to do that over the top of all of those. Now I'm just going to back the larger tags with coffee dye paper and the watercolour paper that's going to act as the pocket on the front, because it's a little bit flimsier, I'm actually going to back that with the craft cardstock just to give it a little bit more strength. I'm then going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew across the top of the pocket. I'm just going to put a little divot in each one of these first and a bit of ink and then I'll also sew around the whole lot of the tags. When I looked at these with the pockets on the front, I just decided that the back um, part of the tag pocket needed a little something just to um, give it a little bit more interest so I decided I'd just randomly stamp with the walnut ink um, just some or it's just a random script I don't even know whether it's um, up the right way but it just added a little bit more interest to the tag I sewed around all of them and cut off my longer threads and I'm really happy with how these turned out. I haven't made a tag to go in them, they're just a little bit stiff so I get my scoring tool and just run that in there as well. Just to sort of open them up a little bit. That craft cardstock that I backed um, the watercolour paper with is really a really um, strong weight cardstock. so. I've just had to loosen them up a bit and then they are right to go. So when I put them in a journal, I'll make a tag to suit the theme of the journal, but I really quite like them. Really happy with how they turned out. And you can see that gold there. And then I've just backed them with coffee dye paper. I love how they turned out. can't go wrong with gold can you I don't think so anyway well I hope you enjoyed that video for today I'll see you tomorrow for the next tag of the day so um, let me know please in the comments what you think I'd really be keen to hear your comments all right guys take care and until next time I hope you get a little bit of creative time in see you soon Bye.